Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. So if I want to convert to scientific notation, okay, from what we call standard notation. Standard notation is just how you normally write numbers. So if I have the number 578,000, and I want to convert this number into scientific notation, um, what I do, um, so the first thing, I look at where my decimal point is, right? There's always a secret decimal point at the end of our number. And I look at how many places do I have to move that decimal point to get, so I only have one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point. Well, that's all the way between the five, and so I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five. So I know my decimal point is now going to go between the five and the seven, and I moved it five places. So we're writing a number that's equivalent to the number that I started with. So if I multiply this by ten to the fifth power, well, <coughs> If you remember, what happens when we multiply by power by tens? Every time we multiply by ten, we move the decimal point one digit. And you can try it out. You can um, either put it in your calculator or write 5.78 right, times ten and, and do, the, do the math. You'll see you'll get 57.8. So in order to get back to our original number, we have to multiply by ten five times, the number of places we move the decimal. Um, and so these two numbers are equivalent to each other, and this guy is now written in scientific notation. So we can try another example. So let's see. Let's try a small number. So I've got point, or we could put a zero in front. Zero point zero 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 three six four. And I want to write this guy in scientific notation. Well, now our numbers small. Um, and so we want our decimal point to be, where do we want it to go? Right, we need it to go between the 3 and the 6 to have one non-zero digit in front. So between the 3 and the 6, right, and we can count, we would move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So we move 5 places again, but this time instead of moving to the left, we move to the right. So when we, we want to multiply by 10 to some power that doesn't make our number bigger, like it did over here, we have a small number. We need to make it smaller. So if we remember way back from uh, whenever you learned it, um, when you divide by 10, right, we move our decimal place one smaller, so our one to the left to make our number get smaller, because dividing by 10 makes our number smaller. Well, if you think about what dividing by 10 is, right, 1 over 10, so with our new idea of negative exponents, we can rewrite this as 10 to the negative 1. So dividing by a power of 10 is like the same thing as multiplying by 10 to the negative 1, and we don't want to do that once. We want to do that five times here to move the decimal place to the right five times. So this becomes 10 to the negative 5. So if you want to make your, no if you have a, s a small number, and we're writing it in scientific notation, your power should be negative. If you have a big number, your power should be positive, because positive powers are going to, when you actually, if you were to put this in your calculator and multiply it out, multiplying by p positive powers of 10 will make your number grow really big. Multiplying by negative powers of 10 will make it grow really small, because you're actually dividing by 10 there. Um, so that's how we can convert to, uh, from, uh, standard notation to scientific notation.